In this video I will demonstrate the use of the iMod plugin and especially the widget to display raster data in a cross-section. For instance, raster data like your 3D hydrological data. Um, well, therefore I opened uh, already a QGIS project and for this small village we created the ground of the model. I already l uploaded a uh, digital elevation model. And uh, okay, let's continue with the uh, hydrological data. And when I click with my mouse left, it will be yellow. And when I click right, it will be blue. So maybe that will help you. So first, let us load the full data of hydrogeology. It's called the mesh. And I already prepared this mesh. And we will add it. And for now, the display, you only see the bottom layer, you can see it here, the bottom layer only. But in this file there is much more data. When we double click on it, we can see here we have not only the bottom layer for layer 1, we have for three layers, the top and bottom. And for each layer we have one um, parameter, in this case the permeability. But it can be more parameters if you like. And the iMod plugin, the cross-section tool, will recognize these bot top and bottoms and also the parameters based on the string layer. And uh, well, we can use that to go to the cross section. And uh, if you install the IMO plugin, you will see this toolbar and we select the widget cross section. Then this additional window appears. <coughs> and now we can uh, select a location over which we want to have a cross section. We close with the right mouse button. Um, and now we select our hydrological data. And uh, we select uh, the permeability. And we click plot. And we add it to the display. OK, let's see if we can change the <coughs> colors a little bit, make them unique. And now we can really see the cross-section for the three different layers and the permeability. Now we are in this display, we can uh, move around, a play around a little bit with the left mouse button. We can just move it. With your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and zoom out. With your left mouse button, moving it horizontally, you can zoom in, zoom out horizontally. And of course, vertically, it's the same. And if you want to go back to the original position, click here. Well, uh, we can also, with the right mouse button, export uh, the information. Um, and we can also add another layer, like the digital elevation model. We click Add and Plot. And there you can see, in red, the digital elevation model. Well, of course, we can uh, select a new location. We just draw this location, this new line. We close it with the right mouse button. And if we click plot, we have the new situation. And we can also, of course, remove layers. OK, that's it for now. Good luck.